Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's Cars. Today I'm sure this 2010 Subaru Exigate Turbo. It's got 106,000 kilometers on it, which is right at 66,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving at Okinawa soon or you just arrived, or if you've been here, please stop by Johnny G's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's gonna have a look around. I'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Subaru Exiga Turbo is a uh, seven-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category. So the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $160 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now you do have uh, two options to pay for it. First will be in US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put some down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before I go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you get a bit of cross ventilation. Get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. Let's jump inside so we don't have to hear that jet anymore. All right, I'm going to loosen it here. Okay, key fob on your person, foot on the brake, push this one time, and it goes. Let's uh, get this in. All right, not a lot of space in here. 106,796 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. That one right there is your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it'll go away. And then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. That one up there is your emergency brake. Okay, this one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And then that one up there is your, obviously the seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelt so you can take it on and off base, okay? And this one right there is the type of drive that you, you can uh, do. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. All right. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, shred head instrument cluster. And then pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here in the middle, you, uh, you have a little display. It's going to give you the outside temperature and um, the time. Then you got your radio. This one does have a rear camera. Then your uh, air conditioning controls, power outlet, a little tray here made for the coins or, you know, a remote. And then this is the drive I'm talking about. So I think S is smart drive. Then there's an intelligent drive, I think. And then um, smart strong or something like that. I forget. And then you have your um, your shifter, cup holders, armrest that I'm not going to forget. And just a little extra space back here. You have a little compartment above the glove box and then the glove box itself. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You get your red road flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back and all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I could drive as is or slide this up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. All right, uh, you do have a uh, sunglass compartment up here. Let's go eye level. Yeah, that's about right. That's my eye level right there. I can pretty much only see the hood scoop, just a sliver of the actual hood. All right. Now I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet. Showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. Okay? And some dealers will actually try to discredit this. But this is a grade number four from the auction with a CNC on the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade for this year of car. And that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see for yourself. Okay, so let's uh, turn this off just to reduce the noise a little bit. Okay, so where do I want to start? I'll start over here. So on the right side, this is going to, this is going to control the uh, illumination of the dash while you're driving at night. And then this is the, your uh, mirror controls. This one I think is to turn the uh, traction control off. Don't hold me to that 100%. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then you got this one right here. That's your ETC reader, electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And this... This doesn't open up uh, for coins or whatnot, like on some of the others. This is a, um, the opening for the fuses, okay? And then all the way back here, you got your hood release. Please don't forget on the floor here, you have your gas cover release down here. All right, what am I forgetting? And then this over here, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, I really didn't take a, a good look at it, so um, let me see. 
Yeah, I'm really not sure what that is. I don't want to spend too much time on it. And then on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls all right there. And this one, not again, not sure what that is. So here's your second row of space. Let's jump on in. This door wants to close on me. Okay. Sorry for the fingers. All right, so... So this second row, you can uh, slide up or back. I'm gonna leave it in the back position because if I slide it all the way forward, I'm not gonna be able to make it, okay? But uh, with the seat all the way back and the front seat all the way back, I'm about two and a half inches, almost three inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but it does have this uh, grocery bag hook. I believe that's up to four kilograms, maybe three. What is that? I think it's three kilograms. I don't know why this thing doesn't focus. Um, yeah, so six and a half pounds. And then you have pocket storage on, on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And then a uh, cup holder and a little bit of storage on each door panel. Okay. And then this one does have an armrest. You have to pull this tab. Come on. And it will give you two uh, additional cup holders. And this one amazingly doesn't stay level like all the other Subarus. So I'm not pleased with that. And then to get to the rear seat for your rear passengers, all you're gonna do is pull this up. It's gonna make this uh, seat back go forward and then you can slide it and then they can get in there easily. And then to uh, uh, push it back, you wanna push it back with the seat, the seat back forward again and then you just push it back. All right, so this rear area. Here you got the rear space back here. You can uh, put these seats forward, but let me show you the space back here which is pretty nice. And then you have a compartment of a uh, little bit of storage and cup holder. And then you can put these down, put it back up here, that hit my head. And you have this whole space open if you need a little extra space in the back. All right, let's go to the front here. We're gonna show you the engine compartment. I'm gonna wrap this video up. There he is. The, this is a two liter boxer engine turbo. Very beautiful piece of machinery right there, okay? And there you have it. 2010 uh, Subaru Exiga GT Turbo. Uh, and of course, this is all-wheel drive as well. Uh, it's got 106,000 kilometers on it, which is about 66,000 miles. Military price goes down to 6,200. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,000 flat. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 6000 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the new 2023 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, uh, check out the condition, uh, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars at a show. But we have what our pricing, or I'm sorry, what our program can do for you and how we could assist you, or what our program's all about and how we could assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.